My name is Susie Osborne and I'm the co-founder of Ho'o'ulu Lahui, our nonprofit that um, has the kuleana to malama this aina, uh, and also the co-founder of Kuokala Charter School and Head of School. A program that we're running is called Ike Aina from the Sea to the Table, and it predominantly focuses on middle school students, and we have um, grades 6 through 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12, they have integrated uh, science and social studies classes that have projects tied to them with an overarching theme. So the overarching theme for the middle school is organic agriculture and the culinary. And so on Fridays the kids spend all day either learning multiple styles of agriculture, um, especially here in Pune. So they're learning traditional planting styles and then every other planting style we can imagine because not all children have 600 acres like we do or a greenhouse like we do so we want to make sure that wherever they're they are they're able to grow some food for themselves and then um, the kids they bring the food that they produce to the culinary class and uh, the culinary class uh, the Aina Life culinary arts class uses 100 percent only locally grown food and so um, we're in our third year and it's a federally funded program by Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Native Americans, which has a focus on um, the self-sufficiency and well-being of our indigenous hosts, and of course in Hawaii, that's a big initiative going on right now with the mayor and the state on understanding ho'o vai vai, especially in these tough economic times. Um, it's not all about money, and so we're blessed with great abundance of resources here from our coconut, our niu, to our kamani, to lauhala, to noni, to you know many different things and so the kids are beginning to explore making you know noni sav or some different products um, but the first thing is understanding and mapping what those assets and resources are. The second thing is managing the programs we have and then we're going to build a, the construction class that happens on Wednesday is going to build solar dryers um, the United Nations has determined that 30% of the food in the world is wasted because of not being able to properly store or process foods and that the solar dryer in tropical climate is the single most important um, equipment that one can have. So uh, here we're on the coast, we have lots of sun, so and our school is solar powered, so it's a natural for us. So we'll build solar dryers and we'll begin to explore values-based products. Um, most people say value added. We're a Hawaiian culturally driven school here and everything we do is grounded in our values of aloha, malama, kukua. So the kids will learn, we'll bring specialists in again and they'll learn everything from feasibility, marketing, packaging, distribution. It's my heartfelt desire to have a culturally appropriate economic development. Part of this um, proposal will be embedded agroforestry because we want to look at long-term sustainability and gardens are nice, um, but we really need to look at um, growing our trees that are producing food for us and we're particularly wed to um, Ulu in this Puna community because um, here is our newest land formed and we don't have a lot of soil, we don't have the water system, so traditionally in Puna, um, Ulu was a staple food whereas Kalo is in many other places on the island. So we, part of our school mission is to reawaken the cultural practices of this place. And so Ulu fits in nicely with that. And as we explore value added, um, my personal one that I really want to try is for the Ulu flower. Um, on the islands we don't have wheat or rice and there's a lot of people that are very allergic or gluten intolerant. And um, it's very expensive to try to substitute uh, alternatives uh, when we don't have anything produced locally. I really believe that Ulu is uh, a fundamental part of the discussion for food security on our islands. The main reason is we want our families to be healthy, happy and secure in their homes and in their bellies. So that is really a lot of people they don't understand. They say, you know, they focus on the school, the school, but really it's very important to understand Ho'o Ulu Lahui. Uh, and that is to nurture and perpetuate our nation, specifically our Hawaiian nation. And that means comprehensively addressing the needs. Um, as Kanu Okaina says, from the womb to the tomb, that means looking at the health and well-being and wholeness of, um, of our community. So it's a big task, um, but it's a wonderful lifelong uh, journey for us.